All right, guys, welcome back to another review. We're breaking down a unique new product in Northern Michigan. It's gonna be tied to the show, Yellowstone. We have quadruple six, four six, four sixes, grit and glory, guys. This is going to be the ranch water variety pack, a pretty awesome product that's really stirring up some news in the media right now. So guys, I'll read you a little snippet of what I found online from this creation. So Yellowstone creator Taylor Sheridan and producer David Glasser partner with LA Libations to launch the line of Craft Ranch Water and Ready to Drink Cocktails. Yellowstone creator Taylor Sheridan in partnership with 101 Studios and producer David Glasser are blazing the new trails this time with beverage experts LA Libations. The partners have launched a new line of alcoholic beverages with major national retailers under the banner Quadruple Six. Grit and Glory, after purchasing the historic Quadruple Six Ranch, Four Sixes, uh, which is featured on the record-shattering show Yellowstone, the owners have created a line of beverages that celebrate the iconic ranch in conjunction with the beverage company LA Libations. So cool, very cool stuff here. Uh, products from Texas, we know uh, it's linked to Yellowstone, awesome, awesome show. And what we have entering the market is, again, ranch water with different varieties in this pack guys so three of each flavor 12 pack um what we have here is basically ranch water uh, normal and then we have ranch water uh, spicy habanero so this one's the normal natural lime juice spicy habanero juicy mango then we have prickly pear and then we also have blackberry so these are coming in at 110 calories 180 milligrams of sodium, four carbohydrate, two total sugar, guys. And once again, um, we have something that is pretty natural and not so artificial. So we have carbonated water, alcohol from sugar, agave syrup, natural flavor, citric acid, and blah, 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 blah for coloring. So this looks like right in the wheelhouse where you want to see it. It's right in that 100 calories. It's 110 calories, and we don't have a lot of sugar. So will this be a hit in the market? Let's check it out. I know that was a big intro. So we're gonna go with the normal standard ranch water, blue agave, natural lime juice, 5% ABV across the board here. A Little bit of cloudy water. <sighs> Smells like tequila. Smells like a little bit of tequila and lime juice. I'm diving in. Ranch water, cheers. Woo! Got a little bit of that like Almost like it wants to burn you, but then it doesn't. It's completely gone and dissipated, and all you're left with is that zesty lime juice. Um, but boy, that's an interesting flavor. I don't know if it's the blue agave adding that sweetness, and it kind of plays into that tequila vibe. Um, I think ranch water is like supposed to be Topo Chico and tequila, so it's giving me those vibes with a nice, fresh, zesty lime in there. And it's quite sweet for being only uh, two sugars in this whole can. So that was really good. That's very tasty. I like that little zesty touch on the back end. Uh, let's go to prickly pear margarita. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> That's tasty. Got like a little smokiness to it. That's what it is. There's like smoky tequila in there. I, that's that's interesting. So prickly pear. It's got a little color because they, they said they added a little bit of those fruit coloring in there. Uh, yeah, let's go to a cheers. Cheers. Mmm, mmm, that one's, wow. That doesn't taste like there's any alcohol in there, but again, a touch of tequila, hardly noticeable. What you're really getting is that fruity, prickly pear juiciness, um, but it's subtle, and this is crushable and drinkable and, and still quite dry on the back end. That one is very, very tasty. Prickly pear is fantastic. The sweetness outweighs any alcohol content that you would think is in there. You don't get it, man. It's a fruity explosion in your mouth. It's good. Wow, is that good. Yeah, that tequila is real subtle on that back end. Just touch that like lime margarita mixer in there. That's all you get in that prickly pear. So, two blackberry pomegranate. Hold on. Get out of there. Get that drip out of there. That Ric Flair drip. Okay, this is darker because we have more of the dark berry mixture going on with a touch of pomegranate. Cheers. Oh, these are delicious. Oh man, like there's sweetness from the agave syrup and then you get that blackberry slight bitterness and, and sour touch. 
And then the pomegranate has that, like those little beads and those seeds that are in there, but it's got that juicy end of the spectrum of the fruit, not that rindy dryness. It's bringing that sweetness with intense, bold, fruity character on the whole drink and sip on the back end. Wow. Those are delicious. Unbelievably tasty. That's tough to top. Now, we're on the last one. I saved it for last for a reason. It is the Ranch Water Blue Agave Spicy Habanero and Juicy Mango is listed underneath. I think those are just notes they give you. Almost sounded like nitro, man. What the hell's going on? All right. So I'm scared for this one, but I like spice. I'm ready. So, Spicy Habanero. Let's check it out. Cheers. Look at that color, by the way. Dry. It's dry mango, subtle smoke, a little bit of syrup, blue agave sweetness. I was hoping for more habanero. Just a kiss of seedy pepper on the back end. It's got it. It's actually in my stomach. I feel it like right here. It's got that seed heat from peppers, which is happens to be habaneros, but it's it sounds like to me more of a jalapeno slash serrano. Habaneros are typically a lot hotter. This has just a kiss of that. They brought the crisp, refreshing quality. They brought a little bit of that sweetness with the tropical notes through the middle. And then they hit you with that soft, subtle spiciness on the back end that sits right in your stomach. You don't really feel it going down, but it's just got a kiss. I'm highly adapted to uh, spicy food, so it doesn't bother me. Maybe this would bother someone else. Hardly noticeable besides, okay, the battery died on my camera. I had to restart. So this is a tough ranking, guys. I absolutely love this spicy habanero. It's delicious. I think these are all very delicious. The one that actually comes up short because it's just natural and kind of boring is the typical natural lime juice ranch water. It's, it's, it's what you're getting on the can, but it's just boring compared to the other ones. So the flavor's fine. I just, I require more based on what is in this pack. It tastes like smoky ranch water, very smoky. So ranch water on its own is last, smoky ranch water. Now these three, prickly pear, amazing. Blackberry, amazing. Spicy habanero, very good. I almost wanna give this the number one, but it comes up short in the layers and boldness categories and, and sectors. So I guess I'll put spicy habanero third, but I don't know if it belongs there. To be honest, the other two are just so good and bold. So back to prickly pear. Amazing, 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 amazing. I almost, I don't know, It's these are tough to rank. The blackberry pomegranate is so bold and sweet and still drinkable, so I have to put it first, guys. So where we sit today is blackberry pomegranate first, prickly pear margarita second. Uh, spicy habanero and juicy mango could be interchangeable with the first two. I'm just putting it third because those first two are so good. So, uh, and then the standard ranch water is in fourth place, guys. So that is my ranking for the pack of the Four Sixes Grit and Glory. It's been an awesome pack that I think will make its way into distribution all over the country. I highly recommend these. They're fantastic. They're a nice change of pace compared to all the seltzers and other things we get in the craft beer industry. Guys, it's been another review. It's poor Michigan reviews. Cheers.